This is our 11th year, in this, yes. well, 10th year, I guess it is, mm -hmm. uh, in this bay with the artisan shop. Mm -hmm. We actually, I started my wood shop in this bay, and then I got one further down, and then by pure luck, it was timing was such that um, the guy on the end was leaving. And I went in and asked if I could have that because there's a hole in the wall mm -hmm. that somebody punched through years ago. So I moved all my wood shop down there, and we were getting closed out of a artisan shop downtown. So I said, "That's it. I'm tired of." So we came in here with four or five of us from that particular shop, and then we grew. We've had as many as forty. I think we've had as many as 42 artisans in here. Wow. We're down now to about 26, 27, because some of them have come in and taken their things out for Christmas shows and so forth. Uh, grew up in New Hampshire. We, oh. I went over, we went over to Maine for about eight years. Mm -hmm. And then we moved down here in 08. Um, and what brought us down uh, when they lost the Charleston Nine in 07, mm -hmm. my boy was at work as a firefighter in Charleston uh, and it was he happened to just go off duty that morning but it was his engine company that he worked on that was first due down there off of Ashley as soon as he heard the tones drop knew what it was going he was gone he was down there and it took him about four years or so to really get past that I mean he lost nine of his buddies and Two of the youngest he brought into the fire service on a volunteer department and got them on Charleston. So that really, wow. really, really upset him. And so you moved here just to be with him? Yeah, and, and fortunately my dad had moved from Florida to Merle's Inlet, so I, we were down here for his last five or six years that he was mm -hmm. with us. And so it worked out well. And, Georgetown had the river which I needed for my boat. <laughs> okay, so you moved here to, to help your son and you saw Georgetown waterfront. Yep. Well, what made you decide you wanted to start a business? I needed something to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I had worked uh, construction. I built three houses for ourselves. Uh, had finished the one in Maine on the way out the door. And I had worked for a very, very high end kitchen cabinet company in Maine and that's where I refined a lot of my woodworking skills so when I moved down here I thought well I'll do home repairs now, that didn't work everybody wants a firm bit you can't do that so then I just got lucky on this bay and moved some of my equipment in here and just started making little things for myself and then people were bringing me repairs and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> so, how would you describe your shop? I mean, what, what, I mean, I, I see all kinds of different things. I mean, I even see clothing over here. So, how do you describe it? We have right now. We have twenty-seven artisans, and they're all. We prided ourselves on everybody had to be South Carolina uh, local in mm -hmm. the sense of they had to live in South Carolina and do their work, and we run from. Mount Pleasant to North Myrtle Beach. I think we got one girl in Walterboro. Uh, so there's, there, they all found us one way or the other, either word of mouth or um, somebody says, "Hey, so and so built makes this." They get hold of them, they come in and show us what they did, and if it fit the, the, what we were trying to sell, then we would do it. Mm -hmm. And we've had. I don't know, probably four jewelers all making different jewelry, and then we, that was it. We wouldn't take any more on. And artists, we have about, I don't know, four four different art artists, as I call them. Mm -hmm. um, and that was enough to handle the wall space that we had. And um, this is one item here. That's all hand-cut crystal on the stone ground. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's his last piece that he has in here. So you have to leave though. This building's being sold. It has. Yeah. Uh, I must say that um, the owner, new owners have been very, very gracious to us. Uh, 
they one checks in now and again to see how we're doing. Um, they've been very, very lenient with us, uh, but unfortunately, the word I was given December uh, was our possible cutoff date. Now he said that might be a little flexible mm -hmm. going further, um, but we wanted to close um, November fourth. My wife wants to. She wants to start packing the house up, mm -hmm. and we've got it on the market and so forth. So it's kind of <laughs> you've got grandkids waiting on you, and you said Tennessee. Yeah, my daughter. Uh, she spent 20 years with Uncle Sam, bouncing around the countryside. She retired three years ago now mm -hmm. uh, as a lieutenant colonel, and she was uh, out in Colorado. And her last few years was at the uh, academy. Doing PR and others, and she also taught some of the, the uh, freshman uh, orientation classes. So she has quite a head on her shoulders, and um, just got her real estate license. Okay. So she's been doing us virtual tours of homes out there. <laughs> so what's going to be the hardest part about leaving the shop in Georgetown? The friends I've made, we've made. You know, I, I we moved down here didn't know a soul really except Frankie Hill who was our realtor she introduced us to a few people um, when we moved in um, I had to meet across the street neighbors real fast because we couldn't get the pods that we had up at our driveway so I had to put them on her lawn okay. so it was just a matter of uh, there were a couple guys Henry Milton and his help were working down the street Henry and I became good friends. And just, a city councilman? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Henry was he, Henry and one of his his uh, helpers were the first one of the first two we met down here. Been friends ever since. Mm -hmm. I just making friends is easy, and of course we met. We've had a great following of, of folks around here. You know, we go a lot of people from Columbia, Atlanta. Uh, all over Georgia, uh, Virginia, and they all come down that time, a couple times a year or whatever, and stop in and find something. And it's it's hard to miss people uh, that you've built up a relationship with. Part of that, of being able to gab so much, is um, my dad had a summer resort in Hampshire, and I worked for him for 20 years. And of course, I I grew up there, so it was basically I grew up and worked same time so mm -hmm. dealing with John Q public is something that I've always always done now, this building's gonna become apartments is that what we're that's what I understand yeah uh, Perry has said you know, told me what's going on and they've I just, the uh, architect has been in and done all those measurements with his laser counters and stuff so mm -hmm. I think it's just a work in progress so between now and November 4th, people can find you what your hours and... Um... We're um, 10 to 5, normally Monday through Saturday. There are occasional days when the doors are shut and we're gone because of doctor's appointments or something like that. Or I'm late getting down here in the morning for errands I've got to run. But generally it's Monday through Saturday. 10 to 5. So, what, just wrapping up here, what would you like to say to your customers that's uh, been part of your life for the past 15 years? I'd like to thank them all for such a great time that we've had and their their patr patronage over the last 10 years. I mean, without them, we'd be nothing. And everybody that comes in and purchases something here appreciates the handwork that goes into each piece that's been created by an artisan and the artisans as I say none of us are getting rich over it. the artisans do it for the love of the work that they do and the pride that they take in making what they do stuff everybody in here as I say was was recruited or hand, word of mouth or whatever to come in and show us and that every person that has purchased something appreciates the work that has gone into something and they when they use it or give it away they know they've got something that South Carolina made and you know pass it on it's it's a piece of arable